What do you think? Is this for an infant? Like a newborn, probably, with <laughs> Okay, so I'm doing my video in a different part of the house today um, just because my husband's two friends are over. My husband does IT, so his friends are over so they can, so my husband can help them build a computer um, and let them know what parts to order and everything. I know I haven't made a video in quite some time. Wednesday I did not put up a video and Friday was just a video of Maddie in... Um, a diaper doing a hand sandwich if you saw that um, it was just so hilarious and she looked so cute when she was doing it um, but yeah I thought that was a really cute video and I still have to put up my family reaction videos but I just have had no time to do that because I have been so sick for my update I am nine weeks and six days they did not change my due date they said it was close enough, so the baby was measuring nine weeks, five days yesterday. So here's an ultrasound picture of it. Let's see. You can see. Can you see? Okay, so there it is. You can see right there. There's the head. There's the body right there. It is so stinking cute, and it's crazy that how much it has grown. Like... The last time I showed the video, um, an ultrasound picture was like just a little tiny blimp and now it actually looks like something. Um, update on where I am. I am just really sick. The last three days I've been extremely sick. Um, today I did not go to work. Um, I ran out of Zofran on Friday. Now with Zofran I still don't feel per like 100% but I feel way better when I'm taking it than when I'm not. When I'm not taking it, I'm throwing up 15, about 15 times a day yesterday. I threw up 12 times and it was just, no, more than that, I'm sorry. On Sunday, I threw up 12 times. Um, yesterday, I probably threw up probably about 10 to 15 times. Um, I start, and it's not even like when I get out of bed. It's I'm sleeping and then at 5.30 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, I'm waking up because I have to run to the bathroom to get and getting sick. So it's starting when I'm sleeping in the morning until like 5.30, 6.30 at night. Um, last night it was lasting until like 9 o'clock. I was getting sick at the doctor's office and it was just not fun. And it takes some of the fun out of, you know, being excited. Um, and I feel like I don't want to tell anyone that we're pregnant, like any more people, until I'm done being sick so I can be super excited and not be telling them when I'm just feeling like crap and oh I'm just don't want to even see anybody um but I'm feeling a lot better today I'm actually being able to eat now f with the doctor's appointment I did find out I have a it's called a bicornate uterus now that is basically basically like a heart-shaped uterus most uteruses uteruses are sharp shaped like pears and mine is shaped like a heart so it has a little indent like that and the risks that come with that are preterm labor breech babies and higher risk of c-section now i ask i asked you know is it possible to still have a vaginal birth and she said absolutely um you know it just depends if your baby's breech or not and we'll see um obviously it's it's not my plans, it's God's plans, whatever God has planned for me, and that's what I'm just going to have to do. And But she was saying it is a coincidence, I do have a kidney, kidney, a low kidney function because most people that are born with a bicornate uterus have either one kidney or a low functioning kidney. So my one kidney is probably just really small and just the low functioning one. So I have to do a 24 hour urine sample blood work, and I'm going to my nephrologist. The middle of March for an appointment and that way we'll see what my nephrologist sees and then they'll send it over to my OB and they can work together um, they will be monitoring monitoring me closely um, and hopefully everything goes well 
the doctor didn't seem worried, so I'm just not trying to be worried. Um, I am almost 12 weeks, well not almost, but you know, in about two weeks I'll be 12 weeks and I cannot wait to be out of the first trimester. Um, I read some places that when you do have bicornate uterus, it could mean a higher risk of miscarriage in the first trimester or that I have read that they, it sometimes comes with second, a second trimester miscarriage because they're, it's restricting the growth of the baby. But um, not sure how you know common that is. Um, I have talked to Claire Wolf. She has a bicornate uterus, and it was definitely helpful to talk to her and know someone that has this as well. But as for any other updates, um, um, they also gave me this blue folder at my appointment yesterday. Um, it just comes with everything that you know you want to. Think about when, during your pregnancy, screenings, um, you know, saving your baby's um, cord blood and, you know, anesthesia and stuff like that and different, like, classes that there are. Um, I am very happy that we chose the hospital that we will, that I will be giving birth at because it has an amazing NICU and a whole team there and that way if I do have a premature baby, um, I know that it has an amazing NICU and team that are there. Um, as for my weight, I am, I was 109 pounds, um, when I went to the doctors a couple weeks ago and I am now 108, so I lost one pound, which isn't a big deal. I was surprised that I only lost a pound since I haven't been able to hold down anything. Today was the first time in a few days that I actually have been able to hold down anything. I still try to eat when I'm sick, but I just, everything comes back up. Um, but... I'm just so excited for the first trimester to be over, so I am hopefully done with my morning sickness and I don't have to take the Zofran anymore. Alright guys, well I think that's all I want to talk about in my video. Um, again, if you do have a bicornate uterus or you know anything about that, please leave a comment down below and let me know your experiences with that. Um, you know, I'm staying really optimistic and you know I know it's in God's hands and it's not in mine, so... Whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen, but I thank you all for your prayers and support and everything that you guys, you know, the well wishes that you guys send my way. Alright guys, well, thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright guys, bye!